Hi there, welcome. Today I'll show you how to use our free plugin Migrate Guru. You can migrate to any web host, and no matter how large the site or how complicated the migration, you can do it with just one click. Migrate Guru is 80% faster than all the other methods, and there's no fear of site crashes because the migration is done by our own powerful servers. Now, it takes just three easy steps to migrate your site, but before that, I would advise you to take a full website backup. Now, here's how to use Migrate Guru. The first step is to install Migrate Guru on both your source site and destination site. So if I open the next tab, here you can see that it's active on my destination site as well. Let's come back to our source site, click on Migrate Guru, and you'll see this page. So add the email ID connected to your website, click this, and then click on Migrate. Now, whichever host I select for migration, the next steps will be the same for all of them. So let me just click on this, all right, first we need to add our migration key from our destination site. So let me go back to my destination site, click on Migrate Guru, scroll down and copy this key. Now let's come back and paste it here. Now if your source site or destination site is password protected, you can add those credentials here. Just in case your new host is not connected to any domain, then you can click on Advanced Options and add the new host's IP address and name server. These are very easy to find. You just have to log into your web host settings. In case your new host already has a domain, then you can just skip this step. Also, if you're wondering about these options for folders and tables, you can click and open them. Now we migrate all the default ones, but you can pick and choose if you want. Most people can just skip this step. All right, now we can click on migrate to start the process. In some rare cases, your security key might not work and you might see an error when you try to migrate. No worries, just go up, and click on manually input host details. Now we need the destination site URL. So let me go back to my destination site, click here and copy this. Come back and paste it. Next, we need to add the FTP credentials of the destination site. I was using Bluehost, so let me go there, log in, now click on advanced and look for my FTP details. Then scroll down and here I can see my site. So just click on configure. There's my username and password. So I can copy both from here and then come back and paste them. Let's go back for one more thing. We need to copy this FTP path and come back and paste it. Now all hosts don't show it like Bluehost did. So if you can't see it, one easy way to find it is to use a free tool called FileZilla. You can use your FTP details to log in Then find the WP content folder and go up and copy the path. Then come back and paste it and add a slash here. In case this also doesn't work, just hit up our customer support and they'll help you out. Anyways, once you have the FTP path and it's pasted, then you can go down. And if either the destination or source is password protected, then we can add those credits here. Finally, let's click on migrate and you'll see this screen. It should take a few minutes for the migration to finish and you can check out a backup plugin if you want or go do other work. Finally, you'll see this completion message and you can click here to visit your newly migrated site.